Good morning, Kelly Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 13. So today we're going to dive into what I believe is one of the most powerful tools we have inside of KW Command, and that is one of our smart plans, specifically the monthly neighborhood or even bi-weekly neighborhood nurture smart plan. This smart plan allows you to provide hyper-local market information to the contacts that are in your database with regards to the specific neighborhood that they live in. Keller Williams has an exclusive partnership with Nextdoor. So if you're not familiar with the Nextdoor social network, um, it allows you to post messages to people that live in your neighborhood. Uh, the only way to join is to confirm that you actually live in that neighborhood that you're looking to join. And in order to create a next door neighborhood, a consumer that lives in that neighborhood would have to go to next door, submit the neighborhood boundaries and the name of that neighborhood. And then next door would send out postcards to everyone that lives in the boundaries that were suggested. And the people that live in that next door neighborhood would then have to scan a QR code or go to a specific link and agree to the boundaries and name of that neighborhood. So with regards to next door, if you're ever wondering if a neighborhood actually exists, where the neighborhoods are, what neighborhoods are available in my city, if you go to nextdoor.com backslash find neighborhood, you're gonna get a list of all of the states where next door exists. And I believe this is almost nationwide coverage. And then if you choose the actual states, you're gonna get a list of all of the cities where next door has at least one neighborhood. So I live in Katy, let's go down to Katy, Texas. And you would then see within that city, how many next door neighborhoods actually exist and the names of them. So you're gonna see in Katy, we have 245 next door neighborhoods. And if we scroll down the list here, you're gonna to get to all of those neighborhoods and you could come in and actually choose which neighborhood you live in to sort of see that information. So when you add a contact inside of command, when you add an address or import an address to that contact, command immediately checks with Nextdoor to see if a Nextdoor neighborhood exists. So if we go into our contacts applet, and let's just pull up a random contact here. Peggy Hill, you know her as the fake cartoon character from King of the Hill. If we come in, there's actually a fake address associated. Arlen, Texas doesn't actually exist, but Command saw Rainy Street and so therefore did its best to utilize an address in Austin on Rainy Street and assigned this contact to the Rainy Street District neighborhood. Now, why is that important? Well, you can see that if we preview this neighborhood, Command is actually gonna pull through its connections with MLS, all of the information available on Rainy Street, available properties, the average home price, price per square foot, days on market. And if you continue to scroll down, you're gonna see even more information. So you can see all of the properties that are currently for sale in that specific neighborhood, information about what neighbors are saying, nearby schools, etc. So a ton of content on these neighborhood pages. In order to provide this sort of hyper-local market information about a specific neighborhood for one of your contacts, again, first thing you need to do is make sure that the contact has an address and has then been assigned to a next door neighborhood. And then from there, we want to add them to one of the two neighborhood nurture smart plans. You can find those smart plans by going back to the smart plan applet. And we did this yesterday. We're going to go into the library. We're going to scroll down to the Keller Williams section. You can see the first one is bi-weekly. That would send an email once every 14 days, or you've got the monthly neighborhood nurture here, which would send this email once every 30 days. To go back to the contact, we're going to pull up old fake Peggy, cartoon Peggy Hill here and we would click on smart plans, add to smart plan, and then we would choose the monthly neighborhood nurture or bi-weekly, which we just downloaded from the library. If we click on select and start now, 
this contact would immediately be added to that smart plan and an email would go out. Now you can see right here, this smart plan has been added. Subscribe to monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan. What does the email actually look like that the contact receives? Well, you can see this is one of the emails, right? Don't uh, blame me for having an AOL account. I've had it since I was 15. Uh, but this is what that email actually looks like that the consumer receives. So you can see that it's a neighborhood report for, and then the name of the actual neighborhood. It's gonna give you the number of properties currently for sale and pending, average list price, price per square foot, average days on market. If sold price is available, right? In Texas, it's not actually available. We're a non-disclosure state. But if it's available, then they would have, you know, give you that information and then some neighborhood properties that are available for sale. I'm not sure why this one hasn't sold. It could be the fingers in the photo, but that's okay, right? We won't talk about that. That is the most powerful smart plan because I can guarantee you every single person in your neighborhood, when they walk out the front door and they see a for sale sign in the yard across the street, they wonder how much it's being listed for. They're curious, right? Because if they can get 600 for this, I know I can get 650 for mine because our house is always nicer. My recommendation is that you continue to provide that sort of hyper-local market data to every single contact that's in your database. If you've got an email and an address and that address assigned a next door neighborhood because it exists there, you should have them on the monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan. In a couple of days, we'll talk about adding people to that smart plan in bulk and some additional things that we can do there. But today, an introduction to what arguably could be the most powerful tool we currently have in command, the monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan. That's it for today, guys. As always, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow.